What's going on everybody? My name is Aiden and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we've got a Chicago Bulls and Orlando Magic game reaction. And just when you thought the Chicago Bulls could really start to turn things around on the offensive end, or the defensive end I should say, they end up conceding 133 points to the Orlando Magic and losing in a back-to-back -back situation. Now, to give credit to the Bulls where it's due, you know, for a back-to-back, -back, scoring 119 points in their own right is actually a pretty good feat. I would if I do say so myself. However, we let Orlando. Now, I don't know much about the Orlando Magic this season. I know they've got a positive record, and I know they're a good team. I know they're a good team, and Bulls fans are probably jealous of them for years now because of the picks that we gave to them turning out to be as great as they were, whatever the case may be, right? But I know that they're also not the best offensive team, and we just gave up 133 points to them. So that is extremely disappointing. Let's talk about the game reaction. Let's talk about what went wrong for the Chicago Bulls in this video. Before we get any further, if you like the video and you want to see more from me, drop a like, drop a follow, and or subscribe if you are new. And let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls, their player of the game today. And are you disappointed with a loss like this? Um... Look, I will, you guys know me. I'm the first person that will tell you when I'm disappointed and frustrated. I've had my rants over the last couple of games about the Bulls and their defense. It's been notified. It's been there. I almost I talk about it almost every day. Uh, that's kind of what it feels like. It feels like it's actually a job speaking about the Bulls and their defensive work. It's almost like I speak about it more than the Bulls players do when they actually go on the court to play defense. Regardless, um... As frustrated as I may be overall, I don't actually look at this game as of the biggest negative of all time. Now, keep in mind, I still think it's unacceptable, but it's not, to me, as frustrating as seeing 143 points to Memphis or 140 points to the Rockets or whatever other team that we've done it to, the 40-point triple-double to Giannis, you know, all these things that's kind of happened in our way. We did lose the game 133 to 119. I mentioned the scores already, but the reason why I'm not so upset is because this was a back-to-back -back game, first and foremost, and with back-to-backs, especially two away games, the Bulls came out flat, and look, a young team, I personally think, it's just my opinion, maybe they don't have necessarily the fitness yet to be able to go to back-to-backs and actually win them. I think good teams can do that. I think great teams can do that and do that consistently. The Bulls are neither of those things. They're not a good team and they're not a great team, in my eyes at least, at least on half of the half of the end, half, the defensive end. I just don't think they're good enough. So coming out flat is something I kind of expected coming into this game. That's why I'm not necessarily upset. Um... And of course, still producing 119 points offensively is also a reason why I'm not upset. Regardless, it's still a loss. It's a loss to the Orlando Magic. We've beaten them recently, and obviously we've lost to them now recently as well. So 1-1 one, one record against Orlando. But what went wrong for the Bulls? Well, outside of the fact that they went flat, I ultimately think there's a lot of differences between the two teams. And for starters... The contribution from the Orlando Magic starters is, in my opinion, what made the difference today. Now, outside of Wendell Carter, to be fair, who had four points in the game, their starters were on fire. From Franz Wagner with 21 points to Bidaze, I hope I said his name correctly, 11 points. Cardwell Pope, 24 points. Now, Cardwell Pope is a great player, but if you're allowing him to drop 24 points on you, I think that's a genuine issue. Suggs with 31 points and 7 assists as well, so he had a great game in his own right. Mo Wagner with 15 points, 4 rebounds and 4 assists. And you got guys like Anthony, Cole Anthony, 9 points. There's just so many guys that contributed for the Orlando Magic. So yes, our defense wasn't necessarily great in this game. I think that goes without saying in all honesty. And for the most part, I think we got outplayed most of the game as well. In almost every single quarter, we did get outscored. I think we only won one quarter, which was the third, which... Okay, I guess, but ultimately we got outscored. Actually, we won two quarters. We 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 outscored them in the fourth as well, so we had a better second half. Uh, but yeah, again, we got outplayed in this timeout. I'm not I'm not upset. I, I can't lie to you guys. I I can't sit here and fake a reaction for you and say that I'm so frustrated with the Chicago Bulls. I can't believe they can do this. I can't believe that they fumbled the bag again. I can't believe they dropped 133 points. I'm just not that upset about it. I don't know why. Maybe it's... I'm in a positive mood today. Maybe that's what it is. But 
I understand. I, I genuinely understand that a young team in this current situation will not win back-to-backs very often. I mean, how, but let's be honest, guys. How many of you guys truly think the Chicago Bulls are going to go in and win a back-to-back situation? You, I don't, just don't think we have the players to do that. And I don't think we have, I guess, I would, I would even say the fitness levels to do that. I just don't think we have it. And I'm not surprised that we lost to the Orlando Magic after beating the Washington Wizards. I'm really not surprised by that. So, again, I think the Bulls suck defensively. I thought, in my opinion at least, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, from what I watched of this game, I thought there was way too much isolation for the Chicago Bulls. I, 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 I can't believe I'm bringing this up as well. But from the possessions that I watched of the Chicago Bulls today... I know guys had big assist numbers, like Zach Levine, for example, had 10 assists in the game. Josh Giddy had 5 assists in the game and whatnot. So there was a lot of guys coming around and contributing with facilitating. But I personally felt like there was a lot of isolation, especially in the first quarter and in the first half of the game, where we're basically giving it to Vucevic in the post and we're trying to force him to make something happen. Or we're sending it to Zach Levine in the post and forcing something to happen. Or we're giving it to Kobe White and he has to shoot a deep, massively... Un- unfavorable shot in my eyes at least it was a lot maybe it's not isolation that's the word even though I do think there was isolation maybe stagnation is the word I felt like there was a lot of stagnation and there was a lot of relying on guys to kind of bail us out so even though we did score 119 points I did feel like that part of the game wasn't necessarily flowing that well uh but yeah fair play to Zach Levine who didn't have the greatest offensive night but 10 assists. So congratulations to him. He was definitely, in my opinion, the best facilitator. But again, I felt like there was a lot of stagnation in this Bulls team today. But let's take a look at our own stats before we go into the player of the game. So Ayo dropped 21 points today. That's fantastic to see. Again, I think his scoring is really getting there. And 21 points, again, it kind of hits a nail on the head. And I is really starting to become the player that we all expected. I know he had a rough start to the season. And look, it happens. Every player can have a good or bad start. I mean, Zach Levine has had a terrific start to the season. And now he's scored eight points in this game. And that happens. It's a one-off game for Zach Levine. And this may be a one-off game for Io, But at least I'm starting to see some consistency in getting into double figures. And the defensive end, I, I think he's been one of the standouts. Even though that's not saying much. Vucevic, 19 points and 11 rebounds. Again, typical Vucevic night. Very consistent. Very, very good. Kobe White plays so bad today, ladies and gentlemen. Nine points, two rebounds, and two assists. Defensively, I think he was all over the place. To be fair, even guys like EJ Liddell, for example, when he came into the game, I just felt like when he came into the game, it's not necessarily on him. I just think the whole team... When it comes to the communication, there were so many, I guess, open opportunities for Orlando because the Bulls were not communicating well enough on the defensive end. Guys were losing their men constantly, and Orlando were picking up that open guy. And that just happened way too often for me. And ultimately, I think Kobe White's a big responsibility for that. Obviously, I mentioned EJ Liddell. Again, he's a young guy, so I'm not going to sit here and criticize him to the moon and back. But yeah, I just felt like communication defensively was a big issue. Uh, Bazella, seven points. He had a nice dunk in the game. Again, more minutes for him, please. I'm willing to lose as many games as possible to see Bazella play 25 minutes consistently. I'm more than happy with that. The return of Lonzo Ball, six points, three three assists, one rebound. Uh, Again... 17, it was 15 minutes of action for Lonzo. Not the best return, but obviously not the, the worst return either. The main thing is he's there, and that's all I really care about at the moment. Taylor Horn Tucker, 20 points. I mean, sheesh. To do that off the bench, you know what? That gets my player of the game, ladies and gentlemen. 20 points off the bench for Taylor Horn Tucker in 14 minutes. Uh, I'm Again, I didn't watch the entire game, so I'm not necessarily sure when those points came across. It may have came towards the end of the game. I don't care. Um, I felt like... If you could get 20 points off the bench, I haven't really given a lot of credit to Taylor Horta Tucker over the last couple of games anyway. It might be the wrong choice. Maybe Vucevic deserves it again. I'm going to do something different. Give it to Taylor Horta Tucker. And yeah, that's my player of the game. And that's my video today. Again, I apologize. I'm just not upset. I'm just not frustrated. I I think you guys know me well enough to know I'm not going to fake something for you. I'm not going to fake a reaction. I'm not going to fake frustration. I'm not going to fake anger to try and make a video go popping off or anything like that. Um, I try to be as real as possible, as respectful as possible as well. And ultimately, this is just how I feel. I feel content with this loss. Um, of course, it's a little bit upsetting because I have to talk about it. But at the end of the day, I understand it. 
Let's see what happens against Boston. Because that's the game I've got my eyes on now. That's that's a must-win game for the Bulls in my eyes. Let's see if they can get it done. I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for more. Take care. And peace.